This is News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss of WDWNT.com, and here now are the top Disney Park stories from around the world for April 22nd, 2022, Earth Day. After the Florida Senate voted, it, uh, voted in favor of dissolving the Reedy Creek Improvement District of Walt Disney World on Wednesday, the Florida House of Representatives has now approved the bill as of Thursday. The House voted 70 to 38 on the bill to dissolve special districts established before 1968. The Reedy Creek Improvement District was established in 1967, though other districts would be affected by the bill as well. According to a Florida statute, uh, the bill must be approved by the residents of a special district. So Governor Ron DeSantis is expected to sign the bill into law, considering he expanded the le legislature's special session to include it. Uh, although, again, it's worth mentioning that the residents of the district would have to vote for this. And chances are they're not going to. So we'll have to wait and see exactly what any of this means, if anything, if this is all for show, just for political clout so people can run for higher office. Seems to me that's what this is actually about at this point, um, no, when you seemingly know that it can't actually get approved. So uh, I'll let you know the latest. It would be shocking if the people that Disney picked to live in the district voted against them. That would be very odd. In May, Walt Disney World will launch Power Up Days, a new program giving eligible cast members paid days off. Eligible full-time cast members will receive two paid days off, while eligible part-time cast members will receive one paid day off. Cast members in domestic full-time and part-time salaried positions and non-union hourly cast, Imagineers, and employees are eligible. Walt Disney World is working with union representatives to launch a similar program for union cast members. Power Up Days will allow cast members to rest, recharge, and focus on well-being and mental health. The program is expected to only be available this year. Connections Cafe and Eatery will be opening at Epcot officially on next Wednesday, April 27, 2022. The eatery part of Connections Cafe and Eatery will be a new counter service restaurant, while the cafe is the park's new permanent Starbucks location, which replaces uh, the electric umbrella and Innoventions. But meanwhile, today the walls came down, and guess what? In typical Disney fashion, we announced the opening day of something, but it was open to the public for a soft opening today anyway. So early this morning, the Starbucks opened. That's the cafe portion. Uh, it is, you know, it's a Starbucks. It has a very uh, modern interior. I know we've been talking about these modern, clean interiors. We're going to see a lot of this as Epcot continues to transform. And uh, the Starbucks has a lot of your normal, regular Starbucks offerings. There is, though, a waffle available, which will also be available with several dishes on the other side at the eatery. Uh, we did try the waffle. You can read the review on the site. Meanwhile, on the eatery side, they opened later in the day, around 5 o'clock, they opened up. And they serve sandwiches and flatbreads and all sorts of stuff there. Um, by the time you're watching the show, we probably have a full review up of uh, the eatery. So go ahead and check that out. We're also going to do a, a video review of the eatery as well. So again, by the time you're watching this, it's probably up. And of course, if you want to watch a video tour of both the eatery uh, and the cafe, that's here on our YouTube channel as well. Walt Disney World has filed a permit for a laydown yard in a backstage area of Blizzard Beach Water Park. A laydown yard is where equipment, vehicles, and tools are stored during a construction project. The permit shows where cranes would be moved into the area and new fences will be connected. It's likely that the laydown yard will support refurbishment of one or more of the nearby attractions. The closest attractions are the runoff rapids on the red slopes and the downhill double dipper, the snowstormers, and toboggan racers on the purple slopes. Disney's Blizzard Beach closed for its annual refurbishment earlier this year. Originally was scheduled to reopen in March, but has been extended to May and will likely be extended even further at this point. But Typhoon Lagoon remains open. Disney pulled a sting operation to catch cast members stealing from guests at Disney's Port Orleans Resort Riverside last month. A sheriff's arrest report details how the company pulled off the sting that led to two cast members' arrest with the help of the Orange County Sheriff's Office. It unfolded on March 9th, but the Sheriff's Office didn't release the reports until this week. Disney set hotel rumor number 8097 as a decoy. The room, which wasn't being used by real guests, was convertly video monitored by Sheriff's detectives who watched the live feed from a neighboring hotel room. Then Disney left $200 in cash as bait. The money was placed in a small black backpack and put in camera view, said the report. Other items, including an Apple iPad, Apple AirPods, and other personal items were also left in the room. At about 9.50 a.m., Disney cast members Ref Marie Cartagena Torres and Eshelam Abraham Rodriguez entered 8097 with instructions to clean. 
Torres, 27, of Orlando, was under suspicion and had been the suspect of ongoing thefts, her report said, uh, noting Disney had an open investigation on her. The initial report doesn't detail how many thefts previously happened at the hotel and how many other items were taken. Sheriff's report does say upon entry, Raph Murray is seen immediately making entry into the front pocket of the backpack and removing the cash from the interior of the bag. She, observes, she is observed counting the money while engaging in conversation with the other employee. Raph Murray counts out $65, places on the television stand, and a hand is seen removing the money from the stand. Raph Murray is then seen rummaging through the rest of the bags in the view of the camera to include the rest of the book bag as well as the suitcase on, on the bench next to the television stand. The two women did not take any of the Apple products or other personal items, the report said. Sheriff's detectives confronted the two Disney workers after they left the room. Each woman had $65 in cash that matched the serial numbers from the decoy room uh, money, the report said. Both women were arrested and charged last month with theft by an employee, according to Orange County uh, Orange Circuit Court records. Torres's phone was not accepting voicemail messages, so she could not be reached for comment. Rodriguez, 30 of Orlando, also could not be reached for comment as of Wednesday. Following a video of a child being rescued from the top of the pyramid near the dig site pool at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort, the feature now has a net and a no climbing sign. The net covers the lower branches to hopefully impede someone from climbing them. The small white sign in the center says no climbing. As far as we could tell, everyone in the video was unharmed, and that's the most important thing, but this will probably be a permanent change. Similar to the no climbing signs that now permanently adorn the outside of the Mexico Pavilion Pyramid at Epcot. That's why we can't have nice things. Hong Kong Disneyland reopened on April 21st after closing in January due to a spike in COVID cases. As Disney Magical Kingdom blog shared, guests were surprised with a cavalcade of Disney characters and cast members, including Duffy and Friends, Hong Kong Disneyland Managing Director Michael Moriarty, and 2022-23 Ambassadors Lily Chan and Tony Dick. The special cavalcade was called The Magic Is Now, and in DMK's photo, we can see uh, the North Mountain under construction in Arendelle, the world of Frozen, right behind the Castle of Magical Dreams, which segues uh, nicely into our next story, which is a sneak peek of the construction we haven't seen in several months for Arendelle, the world of Frozen. HKDL Fantasy shared several photos on Twitter uh, this week. The North Mountain is coming together with snow on its peak and grass closer to the ground, and the mountain remains surrounded by scaffolding. Crew members were working on some of the grassy parts, and a wall of Arendelle Castle is also vi visible. An actual clock has been installed in the clock tower, which also is still surrounded by scaffolding and tarps, and window frames were added to the buildings in the village. The pathway between It's a Small World and the New Land has been paved with bricks and temporary fencing, uh, which was removed. The main attraction through the mountain of Arendelle World of Frozen will be wandering oaken sliding sleighs. This will be a swinging roller coaster similar to Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, but they will also have the Frozen Ever After attraction as well. For the absolute latest Disney Parks news, head on over to WDWNT.com and follow us on all your favorite social media platforms. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, the Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Sit back and let their team of vacation planning experts craft your family's next trip. The best part, their services are free. Visit www.nt.travel for details. Uh, since it is Earth Day, we are doing something special with Carousel of Products. If you head on over to carouselproducts.com, we have a new shirt that celebrates uh, the gone but not forgotten Rebecca the Male Black Swan, our good friend, um, passed away a couple months ago in the Oasis area. Uh, and remembering our fine feathered friend is this t-shirt where 100% of the proceeds, all the profits, are going to the Disney Worldwide Conservation Fund, a wonderful uh, organization that has helped with so many uh, great uh, efforts with saving all sorts of creatures around the world. So if you want to support this great cause, go to carouselproducts.com. Again, all the profits on this $20 t-shirt go to uh, the charity, and you get to own this great shirt. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. Also, hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of the show. You can also support the entire team behind this program by joining the WDWNT Interglobe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Tom Corliss saying, enjoy the rest of your today, have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Happy Earth Day.
From WDWNT, the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Park Center. Join us each week for news and discussion topics from the Disney and Universal theme parks around the world. We cover the top stories in a quick, concise, and fun format. Then our panel breaks down and debates some of the biggest issues and what they mean for us, the Parks fans. From the latest announcements to openings and delays to scandals and snacks and merchandise and more, we cover it all in 90 minutes. Join us live every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern on YouTube.com forward slash WDWNT or watch episodes on demand anytime or subscribe to the audio version of the show on your favorite podcast app.